Hello. It's probably saying hello. This is a game we're doing a review on called Dead Island. Uh, I have special edition since I pre-ordered. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Anyways, it has four-player co-op. You have a little headset so you can talk to people. You have a head controller. You have four people. You have 1080p definition. Woo! Okay. Let's get to the actual game. You're not answering it. <laughs> oh, by the way, if no one knows, it came out at 12 o'clock last night. Midnight. We were there till 10. <laughs> we were there at 10. At 10. <laughs> yes, we camped an all-nighter. Because <laughs> we're dedicated gamers. This loading screen takes a year, by the way. Yeah, it's not very... But there is no other loading otherwise. So, anyway, this is basically the uh, mechanics of the game. You move like oblivion and jump like a douchebag. Just kidding. You have kicking abilities. You have a swinging ability. <laughs> also, you have a thing called rage, which I will not be showing in this video because I do not have it. Unless I imaginally find it. And there is a lot of interaction, actually, in this game. Um, it's more along the lines, though, of... Uh, it shows a lot. Like, when you open a door, it shows you open the door. You know, a lot of stuff. Uh, climbing ladders. And that guy's a loser, so we're not going that way. You grab this paddle here off the wall. And you can grab any weapon. That's a melee, if you see it. Grab it. I suggest it. 100%. The surfboards do not move. I tried it. <laughs> yeah. Also, you have your upgrade bench. You can create. You can destroy. You can repair. You can't really destroy them, but you repair and upgrade and you can create new weapons and stuff out of that. If you pre-ordered the game, you got a, uh, what do you call that thing? Uh, it's a ripper, I believe is what it's called. Yeah, the ripper. And it's an awesome modification. I haven't pulled it off yet, but I would love to try it. So anyways, uh, we're going to go beat some zombies here. Oh, whoops, I just went to the wrong seat. Uh, let's go to the next one. Sorry about that. Uh, start the car up. And there we go. So... There's a lot of thought put into this game, and the co-op works the same as your feel of the single player. Um, just to let everybody know about that. There's a lot of fun stuff to do. Though. Oh, zombie! And I missed him. Nope, I hit him. Damn, I thought I missed him. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna kill some zombies because I'm bored. Oh, look, it's a zombies. Is that good? Yeah. Kicks the face and slices. Oh, this game's rated M, by the way. <laughs> Forgot about that part. Yeah, there's a lot of gore in this game. Uh, another thing is that you can cut off whatever limb you aim at. Hold on a moment. Make sure this guy dies. There we go. Kick in the face, kick in the face, kick in the face, kick in the face, kick in the face. Would you die already? Jesus. And yes, it has damage. And you get experience. Woo woo woo. Okay, now I gotta show you something. This is the map, okay? This this map is really freaking huge. Um, from everything that it kinda shows if you look at it, it's like it's it's beyond huge. I haven't even explored all of it. Uh quests, it'll show you the difficulty and stuff to the right side, to the right side, <laughs> to the right side, I know um, the difficulty, so it's the difficulty, what it does, how much experience, what you get, all that stuff. This is the inventory screen, if you got a blue weapon, it's very rare, and how am I not level 11? It didn't save, what a douchebag. Okay, uh, if you got a green, it's, I believe it's uncommon, it's not really like rare or anything. But, uh, you got your skill tree here, your fury, your combat, and your survival. Not that you can't see the survival, because it's not over the actual survival, if you would go over to the right, sir. Thank you. That's survival. 
And also, off to the right, it shows your level and your experience and how much you got left to go. Uh, make it like a one. Uh, so basically, I mean, that's basically what's uh, how this skills work. You just choose what skill you want and kind of level up. This is the player screen. It lets you see who's all in your game. I believe it's up to four people. That would show my name. That's just ghetto. <laughs> Alright, anyways. And it'll show the latency and stuff. Okay, so anyways, let's get back to the real gameplay here. Um, I'm going to show you the beautiful Banoi Island. It's intense. Not really intense. Oh, I need to get on the other side. Wow. I hate these cars. Because in the right side of the, pos of the passenger seat, for some reason, you have to literally go over to the right. And it's usually left, if I recall. And I'm lost. No, I'm not. <coughs> That was a nice sneak. Brava. Now, if your window gets busted, you gotta automatically do that, so no need to fear if you can't see out the windshield for a second. It'll bust it eventually. If he doesn't, you probably should take this game back. Because there's a reason he's not. <laughs> and I just crushed another one. And another one. Yes, I like the truck. <laughs> Good free experience. I wonder if my quest saved. That's gonna push me off. So basically, you just come over here, you get out, and I'm gonna show you a beautiful view of Banoi. It's not very beautiful, but so what I, from what I've seen, this is probably the best I've seen. So that's pretty interesting. This is the best best view you can actually get of Banoi. <clears throat> actually, I think we might be able to go up on that light. Let's go up on that lighthouse, okay? And up in the left-hand corner is your health and your experience bar. Yeah, that thing? Yeah, it's your health bar and the experience that you're getting. Um, I'm in a lighthouse, by the way, just in case anybody's curious. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Okay, now I'm at the top. So, uh, I wish I had, like, a better... Try to use that knock... Um... Okay, well, there's your best view. Holy crap, what the hell? He's on weed! What is going on? Oh, by the way, over to the right, if you look very closely, it says there a guy is nearby. If somebody's near where you are in the game, it will show you and tell you, you know, hey, you can join this. Is that a hotel? Mm-hmm. I want to go to it. Something's glitched. I think I've had a glitch. See that yellow thing over there? Mm-hmm. Watch it. So, uh, that's obviously a glitch area, going through that little, uh, what you call that thing here. So avoid it. <laughs> or if you really want to look at it. Um, another thing I'm going to show really fast, how many minutes are we at? Eight. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to wrap this up then pretty fast. Another cool thing me and Joe found this morning is, look at the license plate. It's literally Dead Island. In numbers and well actually I guess it's just digital. Dead one five seven and Yep. <laughs> Island. The five counts as an S, the one counts as an I. Whatever works, right? Uh but I mean to be honest this game oh hey I can show them rage. Uh let's see if I can do it the right time. I can do it in ten minutes. You have one minute. Okay, well, I'll just get out and show it to you. So, anyways, you go into this thing called Rage. Get your car there. And you have constant throws. And yes, I'm not throwing anything. Because I can't throw anything. I just killed something, though, somehow. I don't know how. So, anyways, that was Rage. When you go into that, you have infinite uh, throwing knives. But, uh, I guess that's going to probably wrap it up for this review. Go to the truck and we'll end it at the license plate. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed this little nice review, especially for people that don't have this game. Oh, and if you're a zombie fan, you must buy this game. If you're not a zombie fan, well, get the hell off my page. Bye.